Hey everybody, I set up sort of a fence, um, just stood up to pieces, one fell over, and now I'm going to start um, attaching them together, starting from the woodshed and running across, I'm going to fasten all these together with screws and scrap 2x4s uh, and pieces of wood from pallets, and make myself a nice salad fence. Now this is going to be a 4 foot high fence with a gate right about where that one fell over. So uh, it should be a pretty solid uh, system here, at least on this side. Now on the other side I'm going to have to put pallets as well for extra strength to keep the goats from getting out. Um, I've heard that they like to rub on fence which will then um, ruin the fence with time. So I've got to completely enclose the entire thing. These are Euro pallets that I had laying around that wouldn't fit anything else anyway. And they're all the exact same size so it's going to look good for this project. So I'm going to get to it. Um, the turkeys are finally settled in. They were very displeased earlier. But uh, there's two of the turkeys. They're very shy in their new home. There's one right there. There's two of them right there. There's a turkey. They're the same size as the chickens, so um, it's all as well with that. By the way, I use my good old garden tractor to haul these over here. Um, I've got a wagon I picked up from a guy, and uh, um, that is a huge wagon. It hauls six pallets at a time. I'm really loving this thing. It is a rugged wagon for the rugged simplicity garden tractor. So. Um, I was able to haul over in two loads. I got all the pallets I needed for this outer fence. So, now I'm going to get to it. Um, I haven't reached the lady about the goats yet, so that gives me more time to work on this fencing. I um, was on the road all day helping somebody out, so it's 4.30 in the afternoon. We just finished lunch. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, so we're getting to work here. So we missed most of the day, but you know, you got to help your neighbors. Hey Chris. Hi. Well, we've got a very straight line here already. Chris has helped me so that we get it very tight and straight. Thank you, Chris. No problem. And we're already in the corner. I've got a piece of treated uh, four by six, it looks like. We've screwed the corner together. Now we're gonna use that as a bit of uh, extra rigidid, rigidity, <laughs> strength. <laughs> Three or four layers, I try to avoid it. <laughs> We're still laughing about my stuttering. All right, so now we're gonna go, I'm gonna go from here, all right, right into that post. Let me get my knee against it. That'll give us a nice, solid, strong post here. Yep. A strong foundation for the fence. Now we're also gonna use T-posts, by the way, everybody, just to make sure this is really good and strong. Now, can you um, kick that in on the bottom towards the, that way a little bit? Uh, no, yeah, uh, this way, yeah. this way on the bottom. Yeah, all right, the screws will pull it in when I get there. All right, it's good for now. I'm gonna use three screws on a corner just for strength because it is a, uh, goats do like to rub on the fence, they say. I was studying already. And we want the fence to hold up long term. This is not a temporary thing, guys. This is long term in this case. Uh, you know, I'm going to get an extension. Do you know where they went? The long? It should be in that uh, case with all the bits. In the tent or in the workshop? How's it corner feel, Chris? Oh, that's good, man. That's not going nowhere. Especially once we get all this tied in. Yeah. We need some reinforcement on... I'm going to reinforce on the bottom of all those there. We've yeah. got we've got a, a board through the middle of every one, or in each joint. We're going to put it through the bottom as well, because that's a little flimsy down this row. Down at the end of the row is a little flimsy. But this corner is... Rock solid. This is nice and rigid. I'm liking that. Yeah, me too. 
And then I'm going to put the T-posts in every once in a while as well for even more strength so that the goats can't push this whole thing over. And then if we find out that they're jumping, which I've read that um, uh, nursing Nubians are not usually jumpers, but if we have to, I've got some fencing that is perfect for this that will go up along with the T-posts. So, and then we can also let our chickens free range in this area by day and lock them up at night. So everybody will benefit from this. Hey everybody, we're putting a hinge on. We've got a big seven foot board on the uh, end support. And we're gonna have a, a crossover to the other side with a seven footer here for strength over the doorway. That was Chris's idea. And I've put a two by four on each end of the door. And I've screwed on two hinges to the frame and now I'm gonna put the hinges on the other side of the door. But now we have to shim it up a little bit so that it uh, doesn't drag on the ground. Think that's enough, or should we go more? Yeah. Wait. Okay, down. All right, now. Um, oh, ah. tight area here. one holding it steady hold on and one last one okay we should have a working door hopefully we'll pull out the shims uh, wait a minute that's in there tight do we have a where if you hold that post salad please? Yep. We have a working door. Good. I'm gonna put the shims back in place. Keep that from uh, sliding all over on us while we work on the other side. Okay? Yep. Well we're getting it everybody. Slowly, we're gonna have a goat house and a chicken shack. got the other side. Now I've got to measure and cut the top post for across the top, across the two boards, and that'll tie them in nicely. Hey everybody, we got a couple T posts in for strength. We extended the fence all the way to the back here behind the boards, and now we're going to put the cross piece up on top uh, for some strength and appearance. Bring both ends over here. Because I want this flush. Yep. 
And I've marked this somewhere. Well, here it is, everybody. That's it for a night. Uh, we didn't get the goat yet today because we got some more work to do. I want to do this right before I go get her or them. Chris is locked in. That's where you're going to have to spend the night. Yep, when you're home. Then uh, tomorrow we'll know if it's comfortable for you, then it will be okay for the goats. Exactly. So that's it, everybody. That's it for tonight. Talk to you later. Troy and Chris, out. <laughs>